Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome to Let's Play Sonic Heroes! There's no game data in the memory card and thought, hey, create game data 01? Sure! Why not? Man, it's been frickin' forever since I've played this game, so, uh... Yeah, obviously that's the best way to start an LP, with you not having played the game in forever. Yeah. So, uh... I'm just gonna watch the the logo thing in the middle spin around for several minutes. No, we're we're gonna go into one player mode because that's that's what you do. And uh, right now, apparently, all we have open to us is story and tutorial. We're not gonna do the tutorial because I know how to play 3D Sonic games. Um. So yeah, we've got four teams to choose from in our story mode. I kind of debated with myself on uh, what order to do this in. If I wanted to do like easiest to hardest or whatever order. And I'm just gonna be boring and start with Team Sonic and move my way to the right. So uh, let's get things going! Alright! And then they just leave the tornado to crash, whatever. Also, have Team Sonic been referred to as the Sonic Heroes any time other than in this game? I'm pretty sure that's the, that the answer is no there. So. Time to just jump right in. I thought there was going to be another cutscene beforehand, but apparently not. So, in Sonic Heroes, there are, uh... It's, this is kind of different from your usual 3D Sonic game, in that you control three characters at once, not just one. Technically, you only actually control one of them at a time, but, uh... Whatever. Web. Eh. <laughs> so, uh, you just... You only really control whichever character is in the lead, and you can change uh, which character is in the lead by pressing the X or Y buttons. 
So each character, or like each team is split into a speed character, uh, which in this case is obviously Sonic, a power character, which is Knuckles, and a flying character, which is Tails. So, obviously Sonic is good at running fast, Tails can fly, and that's cool and whatnot, and uh, Knuckles is good at punching people. And then there's this. If you build up uh, enough, I assume, points, uh, either by killing enemies or collecting rings or whatnot, then uh, you get to use a special super move called a Team Blast. And, uh, yeah, it, it's basically just a screen nuke. There's That's really all there is to it. Uh, here we have a bobsled for some reason. And uh, that will become rather annoying later on, but uh, obviously for the first one there's nothing really to get in your way at all. Yeah, as Sonic just said there, uh, you generally want to attack flying enemies, or like really high flying enemies with Tails, or your flying character in general, uh, just by pressing the B button while in the air. That would be, that'll uh, cause him to use Thunder Shoot, which is incredibly overpowered once you uh, level Tails up. Which, by the way, uh, it's kind of a weird, uh, oh man, uh, kind of a weird concept of leveling up characters in a platformer, but uh, basically occasionally uh, enemies will drop, I don't remember what they're called, I think, I think it's power cores, like this, this right here, this is a red one, which is obviously for Knuckles. And, uh, you'll also get one, uh, whenever you pass a checkpoint, you'll, uh, get a level up for whoever your lead character is. And, uh, your max level at any given point is level 3. Which is, uh, not that hard to, uh, accomplish. At least not, uh, not early on. And unfortunately, if you if you die, then you lose all of your levels for all of your characters. But we're we're not gonna die in this LP. No, never, never ever. There will be no death involved. At least not in this episode. I would be like, that would be spooper embarrassing if I died on episode one immediately dies on episode one. No. Okay, I was just gonna have Knuckles wreck everything. Oh, God! Definitely almost just died on episode one. Luckily, if you, uh... Uh, no. 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 I did not mean to do triangle jump there. Yay for free Team Blast. I guess it's time to wreck things again. If I must. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go down here, why not? Cool, I like free 1-up. I was gonna say free 1-ups, because that would have made more sense, grammatically. But, there was only one. Sonic, Sonic, can you can you move forward, please? Ah! Yes. So that was stage one. It was it was a good time.
Just gonna, just gonna wait for this to count down. I promise I won't do this for every stage. But much like Sonic Adventure 2, at the end of a stage you get a rank based on your score. That was tight. And we got A! Because it's the first stage and it's really easy. And once again, we've got emblems to collect. There's 141 of them in this game, which is a really strange number. But, uh, yeah, I do plan on getting all of them, which is gonna be kind of annoying, but whatevs. Yeah, you tell him, Knuckles! So, this is Ocean Palace, and it has such good music! Like, ugh, oh, it's so good! No? Great sentence structure there, Tails. Look at all of those Eggman's robots. This game has a lot of lines that are really easy to make fun of, obviously. And also they changed uh, Tails' voice actor for this game, which was... <laughs> When I, when I first heard Tails' voice in this game, I was like, why? Why? Why did they... why? But I guess they couldn't have kept the same, uh, the same actor forever. Because they, they all have to grow up at some point. And, of course, Tails can't grow up. That's just unheard of. Yeah, if you want to get these rings along this path, you are probably going to have to use your flying character. Uh, but yeah, if you, like I accidentally did uh, earlier, if you uh, come across two walls with a very small gap in between them, then you can uh, homing attack towards them and uh, use triangle jump to get between them. And also, if you uh, hold down the A button while... Uh, while you're in the air in power formation, then you can do this, Triangle Dive. Which, I have no idea why this is even a thing. But somehow it allows you to catch updrafts from fans? I, d I don't really get it, but whatever. I feel like that's gonna be a lot of this game. A lot of the explanations for this game is just, yeah, but whatever. Sorry, what was that? I didn't quite hear you. Uh, oh my god! Rude! Okay, I'd, I'd like a ring, please. But yeah, if you come across uh, robots with these stone shields, then uh, you're gonna want to use uh, Sonic's move, Blue Tornado. Just uh, by pressing B while in the air, and that'll get rid of it instantly. You can also just straight up break it, but it's it's much faster to do the tornado method. And yeah, that'll also sometimes send the enemies themselves up in the air, but that, that doesn't really matter too much. Shaw? What does that even mean? Okay, but what if I don't feel like it? Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Nope, that's the wrong. <laughs> that's the the wrong character. Kaboom. All right. Fine, I guess Knuckles can do things and just land on the the breakable objects. And uh, here's another interesting thing, these keys, which I did not notice until right now are shaped like question marks. Um, but uh, you can break open the cage they're in, and uh, if you get all the way to the end of the stage with the key without getting hit, 
then uh, it will send you to a special stage at the end of the stage. And, uh... Yeah, the, those are... They're going to become very important later on. Luckily, we won't need to do them all, like, right away. There's not supposed to be an apostrophe there, Knuckles. Because it, it's totally Knuckles speaking the apostrophe there. But yeah, since we've, uh, we've, we've now made it to the end with the key, so I guess it's time to show the first special stage. I'm just gonna see how many of them I can actually do with Team Sonic. That was tight. Okay, sure, I I accept it. I'm not sure if there's uh, if there's anything for getting all A ranks in in this game. I there's probably an emblem at the end, honestly. But uh, anyways. It's time for the Emerald Challenge. Basically, you just want to grab these balls and uh, hold down the B button. Yes. I'll get more into those uh, when at, during one that isn't the first one because that was way too easy. But uh, yeah, we got our first Chaos Emerald. Uh, first game since, I want to say Sonic 3 and Knuckles, that actually has you collecting Chaos Emeralds. First main game, that is. <laughs> and it's now time for our first boss fight against the Egg Hawk. <laughs> yeah, attacking him attacking him here while he's uh, while he's moving is not going to be your best course of action here. Instead, you wait for him to land. I have no idea why he bothers landing, but uh, yeah, he just kind of does. And then you can just punch him a bunch. It's really really easy. Ta-da. All right. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna how I'm gonna be splitting episodes here, but uh, this is probably gonna be the end of the first one. So next time on Let's Play Sonic Heroes, we're gonna do the Stage Three Grand Metropolis. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.